everyone and welcome back to another episode of Look Past Limits. Today is day 16 of the van build. So if you're new here, we're Steve and Wendy and we're trying to convert this van into a camper van in 30 days or less. When we set out at the beginning of the month, we thought it was going to be a pretty difficult challenge. We're on day 16 and we're now thinking that we're going to complete it in less than 30 days. <laughs> So if you haven't seen any of the previous videos, we'll pop a link up here to the playlist that you can go back and watch the other ones. Um, but for now, today, the plan is to try and clad the back doors. It's a job that we've been putting off right from the very start. It just looks like a pain. We didn't really know what we were going to cover them with. Uh, we finally decided to do it in some four mil ply and to just try and cover the door in one full sheet. So we'll see how we get on. Uh, we'll quickly show you the rest of the van just now. This is kind of where we've got up to if you're just joining us now. The last couple of days we've been doing the electrics, that's been a pretty big job. Took two full days. And yeah, this is how we're looking. So, these are the horrible back doors that we've got to deal with. They actually had some panels on them when we bought the van. It had a panel on the top, in the centre and in the middle separately. But because it's got all scratched where the wood, where the metal's visible, Someone's tried to paint it, but they've just used some random paint and they've painted it on with a brush and it doesn't look very great. And so the plan is to try and clad the whole thing in a sheet of four mil ply that will match something similar to the um, pine cladding that we've got in there. And the grey carpet that we're using to cover all the trims, we're going to use that on some sections here and to cover different bits. So. so we're now trying to make a stencil out of a see-through bit of plastic just drawing out the shape of the door and then we'll try to transfer that onto the formal ply, cut it and see if it fits. So whilst I take this stencil and try and transfer it onto the ply and make the shape to cut out, Vendy's just going to put some insulation into the back of the door. We're using this same insulation that we used in the rest of the van. If you watched the earlier episodes you'll have seen us using this. Um, and it's completely natural sheep wool. So we have previously used a rock wool type stuff in the van, but it's horrible to work with. You can't handle it. You need to wear a mask. It's not good for breathing. Uh, you also can really want to put a vapor barrier, not just for the condensation, but also just because you don't want that stuff so close to you when you're sleeping and living in the van. So we've decided this time to go with some Real, natural sheep. Feels like sheep. Feels like sheep. So whilst I was cutting that, Vendy's filled all the door with the insulation and she's now just putting some carpet around some of the bits that are going to be exposed. We can't cover the door completely because it all sits at different angles, so any bits that stick out like this we're going to cover in carpet and then we're going to run the plywood round here so that it's flush against this part of the door. So once she's done that we can try my cut out and see if it fits. So there it is, the finished result. We think it looks alright. We're just thinking that we could maybe get some organiser pocket thing that would go down there, that would go underneath the bed, and then maybe some nicer looking ones along here that you could access when you're sitting on the sofa area here or from the bed, and then we could have put some picture or some design at the top or something just to break up this whole one piece, but it seems to fit quite nice and good enough. So now we just need to repeat the process for this side. So that's the other door done now as well. Doors are finished and now we're on to building the bed. So we've mentioned it in many of the previous videos what the bed's going to look like but just in case there's anybody new here the plan is to have a u-shaped seating area uh, that kind of comes along here like this. There'll be a table in the middle here and then the table will drop down at night and it will become 
what's probably going to be close to a king size bed sleeping lengthways so there's a full 190 centimeters on that side it's going to be slightly shorter on this side because Vendy's shorter there'll be a sort of angled bottom on it but really it would be wide enough to sleep three people in here maybe we'll try that honey <laughs> so let's get to it So we now have a frame for the bed. So this is where the toilet's going to go. We have to, we've actually just ran out of this frame in wood. So we need to grab some more tomorrow and make another frame round about here to fit this door in. This door's much smaller than the space, but it should be big enough for the toilet to slide out of. So we'll fill up that space round about there and try and make that door work for the toilet. Um, all of this is going to have ply on the top that can hinge open. It'll probably be tomorrow before we get round to doing that, but now we're going to try and do the cladding round about the inside of here. We're actually going to use the same cladding that we're using on the walls to do around here. And right the way around the very bottom, underneath the cladding, we're going to have another LED strip, the same as that one that's up there. So that's probably the next job. This is what I'm using to do the light around the bottom of the bed, so there's an aluminium profile and then a plastic cover for it and inside we'll just put this LED strip um, and just run it all the way around there and I've got a hole just in that corner that it can go through there we'll just need to solder some wires onto the end of this and then there's already a switch wired on the end there for it So Steve's just showing me our remote control and our disco lights and he's also installed this sexy LED strip in the bottom of the bed All working All working, dimmable Dimmable Very fancy stuff this Party mode <laughs> We're all set then <laughs> So getting that light right took longer than we expected um, So we're not going to get the cladding done today We're going to finish up at that for now So we'll come back to it tomorrow and get the cladding done And then start cutting the ply And hinge the top sections And we'll get the bed finished tomorrow And then see what else we can get onto But we're getting there So thanks very much again for watching guys If you like the video give us a like and subscribe And we'll see you tomorrow Cheers <laughs>